ocean, baby. I can't make a move. Like a child, a star for love. I stay there as long as I have to. I'll cry a river of tears that flows to the sea. Baby, if you run away. Uh, I didn't sleep that well. I uh, woke up at like midnight. Yeah. We can go back to sleep. I don't know why. I'm ready. Nervous. We're ready. Give it up to me. Let me take care of you. Hey, outside. You ready? I'm ready. What are we going to talk about? Starting from day one. Three, two. Jeffrey Adler. That's probably a name going out of the 2019 CrossFit Games you had not quite heard of yet. He placed 33rd at the 2019 Games last summer. A pretty decent finish for a CrossFit Games rookie. But against a string of other extremely well-known athletes from Matthew Frazier, Patrick Bellner, Brent Fikowski, his name didn't particularly stick out last summer. You've been to the Games now, you had a good Open this year. How, how did the nerves and, and the expectations kind of compare to last year? Compared to last year's DCC, for sure, I'm, I'm a little bit more nervous this year. I have more expectations. I think people have expectations of me, and that's what makes me nervous. Going into the 2020 CrossFit Open, things changed a little bit. After 20.4, he, he placed first worldwide, beating Matthew Frazier, the reigning fittest man on earth, by more than one minute and 40 seconds. And this was in a workout that involved heavy clean and jerk ladder and pistols. After getting to the games once, and this is for both of you guys, uh, do you feel like you've taken it, any sort of different approach now that you've seen what it's like at the highest level of competing at the games? Because I've got cut after four workouts, I don't feel like I've gained anything from the games. I think physically he was ready for the games, but psychologically I think feeling like you belong, feeling like you can compete next to the biggest athletes, the biggest stage, I think it's a, that's another level that you can't really work on until you get there. So going into the 2019 Dubai CrossFit Championship, he's going up against 30 top competitors in his field. 18 of those have already qualified for the CrossFit Games via the Open. He's got national champions and top 20 athletes across the board, including two of his compatriots, Patrick Vellner and Brent Fikowski, who are gonna put up a very tough competition. Uh, what's the goal for the end of the weekend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't like to talk about it, I know. If I say a number, I can be disappointed. I don't wanna be, so I'll do the best I can. Yeah, at least this time we'll know after 10 events where I end up, yeah. instead of being cut after four. For Jeffrey Adler, this is all about proving that his performance in the 2020 CrossFit Open was not a fluke. More rain, even worse. I wish I could be on a team and go first. Well, there's two guys, just grab there's two rain. girls. Event one of the competition was a simple couplet of swimming and sandbag cleans. After a short rain delay, an issue not usually seen here in the desert, athletes lined up across the beach to kick things off, backdropped by the world-famous Burj Al Arab Hotel. What a start to it. I mean, it started off a little rough. We didn't see it earlier, but it was pouring rain <laughs> earlier this morning before the teams started things off, but it is now cleared up, and it should be a beautiful four days of competition. When we got here, it was like a torrential downpour, which never happens in Dubai, so we weren't really ready for it. Um, we had a, a short 20 minute delay, but then the skies cleared up. Women are done, and now to see men's turn for their individual event number one. And with a little jog up the beach, Yonakowski is basically picking up where he left off in the swim events wow. at the CrossFit Games. Koski is gonna win men's individual event number one. And as we saw on the women's side, only two will finish individual event number one. It started with Fikowski in heat number two. 
Yona Koski will take the event. Can you get there or no? I was behind the buoy, not on it. Yeah. Give it to him. Come on. I was like 10 seconds back from it, probably. Oh, come on. You didn't get it? Oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah. But I mean, like, so many people are going to be. So. In order to get the tie break, they have to be second in the workout like five other guys and win more money. Yeah. But they had to be on the other side of the buoy to get the tie break. And he was like right behind it, and so they didn't give it to him. I want video review. I got rid of video review on 20.5, so I want it on this one too. <laughs> Slow mo that shit. That sucks. I mean, it's gonna be hard because everybody's gonna have the same amount of points. Uh, for this. Okay. Well, you shouldn't have walked. <laughs> Thank like you. you yeah, there you go. You swim next time. Okay. <laughs> And that will wrap up a competition here for event number one at the beach to start things off at the 2019 Dubai CrossFit Championship. Despite his gamble not paying off, Adler still left the beach sitting squarely inside the top 10. With a pending appeal to improve his score, he boarded the bus back to the hotel in sixth place overall. Some thoughts on how it went? Uh, first event, it went, for me, it went perfect. I was aiming for that second buoy, and I hit it. It just wasn't given to me. You, if he would have touched a buoy, he would have finished fourth. I was like this, this close of getting yeah. 90 points instead of 73. So he sat on the, oh, yeah, he he sat on the back, <laughs> and he yeah. got the same score as I did. The main point is, yeah. we're equal yeah. swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Know. Two more events on day one meant a change in scenery. The setting for the evening's events was the NAS Sports Complex, a training facility that's played home to Cristiano Ronaldo, Manchester United, and some of the biggest names in soccer. What's your first impression? Oh, it's gonna be biking and running for sure. Can't be anything else. Athletes would take the field to tackle another couplet, this time scored as two events. Three rounds of a one kilometer bike with runs of 1200, 800, and 400 meters in between. The slowest time of the athlete's three turns on the bike would be one score, and the total time to complete the work, the other. Two heats down, one heat left to go for the individual men for event number two and number three. And as we've seen two heats go, it's the event starting to take shape, although we've seen a lot of different strategies as heat number three is underway. Was the time to beat 1352 is the new time by Elliot Simmons and Roman Karenikov not to be outdone himself. Jeffrey Adler is coming in for third overall in this heat. Vellner in the blue will finish right around 1455. Oh, that was really bad. Holy shit! I, I messed up on the last fight. Look good from where I was sitting. How'd that compare, man? What? What you thought it might be? The same. Yeah? It's the exact same. <laughs> but seen, I've seen the YouTube videos. I knew what I signed up for. <laughs> Woo! Yay. So much sweat. All right, it's the end of day one for the men. How'd that workout go and how'd it feel compared to what you were planning? I sucked. Nice nighttime, though. Better than being in the crazy heat. Yeah. With the rain. Well, sorry, I'm a little. And so tomorrow on day two, we only have one workout. What are you hoping for on the clean jerk? So I'm aiming to go above above 355, that's for sure. Unluckily for me, Tola is individual, so there's no way I'm winning this event. But I'm going to try and go in the top three. This fucking clean jerk. Woo! Okay, so day one has three scored events. Now, the goal and objective of Adler is to make sure that he places high enough so that he's still with the pack and that he doesn't get pushed too far down. In event one, he places third. In event two, he places 10th. But on the third scored event is when things kind of get a little bit off. 
He gets 22nd, which is not where he wants to be. He finishes day one, plays 12th overall, and he's gonna be going into day two, which is a workout that he's expected to perform extremely well in, a one rep max clean and jerk, and he really needs to come in here and perform extremely well. A slip up on the final bike round of event three would prove costly as the 22nd place finish in the event would drop Adler outside of the top 10 overall going into day two. Through three events, Adler sat in 12th place overall and outside of the top heat. Okay, day one. Kind of wanted to be like already in the top 12 to 10 after day one. Didn't happen. That means we gotta push a little bit harder tomorrow on the jerk, on the clean jerk. Uh, tomorrow's heavy. Can't wait. That will do it for the individuals here on day number one of competition. So we've had a long day of competition. We started at the beach, we moved to the track, we finished underneath the lights here for the 2019 Dubai CrossFit Championships. We still have three more days of competition. It's a long event, a four day competition. So there's a lot of points, a lot of work that still has to be done. But as soon as we start moving into that tennis stadium, the fireworks are going to begin because three more days of competition. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the Dubai CrossFit Championship.